okay, I'm really trying to work through this issue that I have with certain types of books here. And, and it's not even just books, it's TV shows too. I really have a tough time with courtroom TV shows and books. And I don't know why, because when I was a younger kid, I used to watch The People's Court, I used to watch Divorce Court, and then some other courtroom shows that I really liked when I was younger. Uh, I remember in the early 90s going to see um, The Firm by you know John Grisham's, the, the movie adaptation of John Grisham's book. And I really like the firm. I still think that's a great movie. It's still one of my one of my favorite movies to watch. It's a, it's a really good film. Um, I'm not sure if I ever read the book, so I might have to actually look at reading the book. But somewhere along the line, I just lost interest in courtroom stories, books, and TV shows, and even movies which is not good if you're a John Grisham fan. And I do like uh, reading John Grisham. I've read uh, a few John Grisham books and I've seen many more John Grisham movies. Actually, my mom gave me John Grisham's Runaway Jury. She had a copy of it and uh, I had seen the movie and I thought I really, 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 really liked the movie. And so I'm thinking, man, if the movie is that good, then I'm thinking the book's gotta be even better. So I still think I'm gonna actually read that book. But I don't know, I'm just trying to like think through it right now, but I, I don't know if it's just feelings about the legal system or maybe perceptions of justice and injustice, um, maybe frustrations with the legal process. I don't know, but I just sometimes find it hard to get into courtroom stories. Maybe it's just um, that sometimes they're slow developing and there's so many rules in the courtroom and sometimes it can be frustrating watching lawyers, especially the way lawyers are portrayed in a lot of TV shows and movies and not always in a very flattering way either. So um, I say that because I got this book recently, The Holdout, and I'm really excited about reading it because it sounds like a really cool story. And uh, it's, it's on uh, my TBR, um, maybe not for April, but probably for May because it does still sound like a really good book. And so I'm just like struggling and I keep, after I finish a book, knock it out, um, I start looking at the other books that I have on my TBR, the other books that I have in my collection, and I keep seeing the holdout and I'm like, man, I should really jump on it, but I've got these other books that I'm like knocking out right now. So the holdout might be a couple books down the line to, to, to take on. But man, I'm just really trying to work to get myself more comfortable with that. If for no other reason, I really want to read some more John Grisham books because I do like John Grisham's books and I've liked the movie adaptations as well. Well, except for maybe The Chamber. I didn't really care for that movie as much, but for the most part, I've really liked John Grisham books and movies. And so I'm really looking forward to that and hopefully I can kind of work through this negative feeling that I have about courtroom books and, and movies because a lot of times when I see a courtroom movie you know whether it's on Amazon Prime or it's on Netflix or Hulu or whatever um, I just look at them like eh, I think I'm a pass on that one maybe a hard pass maybe a soft pass I don't know but I usually just like eh, see if I can find something else and I kind of do that with books too from a legal perspective especially if I feel like there's gonna be way too much uh, courtroom scenes but then you have stories movies and books like To Kill a Mockingbird, which I read in high school originally and then saw the movie and, and both are outstanding. The, the Harper Lee book and then the movie starring uh, Gregory Peck is just, um, they're both just fantastic. And so those are courtroom shows that I definitely don't mind. Uh, it's a courtroom book and a movie that I just definitely do not mind. So um, I don't know. I'm gonna work through this. I don't know if any of you have had the same issue with courtroom uh, legal dramas. Uh, maybe uh, there's something that you guys just, maybe as a strategy you guys use to not be so bothered by it. Maybe you're just not bothered by it all. I don't know, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about it. Um, those are mine, I'm working through it because I got a number of legal books, uh, legal type 
fiction books that I do want to read uh, in the not too distant future. So if you would hit the like button for this video and if you like the content from book two perspective, from an author two perspective, consider hitting the subscribe button as well and join me again or stay with me on this book two author two journey.